What good everybody welcome back to another banger video and today I'm hopping out of my uncle's car again This car always has issues But um, yeah, I'm here to fix it Nah, jokes. Uh, I love my uncle's car, but it is again on his um I'm gonna be helping him again. So we've got here So if I close this one real quick You guys can see He's got no grill so, most of you XR5 owners know what this problem is. It's always this. This is always a problem. The locking mechanism lock thing. I don't know what they call it, but it's always either wrecked. So, people just do grill deletes and like with no lock. So, you use a screwdriver to open it. But we ordered one, finally came in. So, today I'm just going to show you how you can quickly replace it. I'm not going to be doing the repair kit because I don't know, there's no point and we access, we got one for cheap, so you might as well swap out the whole thing. But, without further ado, let's get it. So, what you need to do now, you got your lock, comes with the keys too, which is pretty good. I picked it up off eBay for like, 50 bucks was it? 55 dollars or something? And now I'm here. So, obviously when I open your bonnet, Okay, so basically all you need to do, all you're going to need is a, a 10mm um, ratchet and socket. All you need to do is, that side. so you've got your mechanism lock here, which has two 10mm bolts, one, two. All you need to do is remove those, both of them fully out. So I'll see you in a sec when they're up. Alright, so guys, last bolt, bang, so now that those two bolts are out, all you need to do, pull it out, there you go, these, it's held in by these two clips, which clip into here, but then put that aside, you grab your mechanism, locking thing, whatever you call it, I don't know if it's a mechanism, but yeah, so all you need to do, this little triangle piece is going to be face down, so what you do once you take it off, from behind, you slide it in, just like that. And then, this triangle, like I said, face down. And there's, there's a little slot there, which you just pull it through, just like that. Bang. So now that that's in, you get your mechanism back, your lock. And there's this little, um, like, cross thing which goes into here. So there's a cross in there. And there's a cross on the other side of the mechanism and then you just match them together and bang you clip it in but first before you do anything you want to make sure it works so i'm going to go grab the key so it came with two keys which is good so what you need to do is test it and if you look here Boom, it works. So, now that we know it works, all we need to do, the 10 mil bolts that you guys took off, you just wanna screw them back in. So, I'll see you guys in a second once I'm done screwing them in, because I don't wanna bore you guys, but yeah. All right, so I'm just about done screwing the last one in. Make sure it's really tight. Alright, so, should be good now. Uh, another way of testing it is, oh, this is this too big. I want to grab a screwdriver, small one. Could be anything, could not have to be a screwdriver. Where is it, where is it? Something that can fit in the lock. Put it in, and then, Oh, this is not going to Alright, so that's locked. Yep, beautiful works. So what I did just there was to make sure if it works 100%, you grab like a screwdriver and you push it down and that fully locks so you won't be able to take it out. And then I just got the key, 
put it in the um, keyhole, turned it, and it's open. So, now that we know it works, we can move on to the next step, which is the easy part. Michael can finally get his grill back. So, all we need to do is, there's two edges here, one here and one on the other side, which clip into this. So, just push that in just like that. Make sure it's clipped in. Just gonna check it real quick. All right, that's clipped in now. Now we just need to clip the grill. Make sure it's sitting properly. Boom. Double check this. Yep, it's in. And then, make sure you just push it in. And there you go, you just get a clip there, there, and this piece here will slide right in here. Boom. You just put all clips, but anyways, let's test it out real quick. Let's test it. There we go. Close it. Imagine it doesn't open. Keep your key. Boom. Beautiful. Alright guys, and there you have it. I hope you did enjoy that tutorial on how to change your lock for your Ford Focus XR5 Turbo. And um, please go down, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Tell all your friends about it. Now that you know how to fix it, go home and do it yourself. And um, yeah. It's been your boy Stav, love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. I might link my ting from barking, 7am in the morning, she's calling.